guys hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel once again and in this video guys we are going to learn the next step which is preparation for exam az 900 azure fundamental and in this video today i am going to discuss with you uh, about uh, physical infrastructure of azure and uh, reason uh, reason pair okay and uh, these are the very important because from uh, reason pairs there will be one question definitely okay so it is up to you now what uh, you are taking it as okay uh, whether you are uh, making a note or not and uh, we'll see okay this video how it goes and how it is all about so guys physical infrastructure let's talk to, let's let's talk about this one the physical infrastructure for Azure starts with data centers. Yes, obviously, if we are talking something like physical means there should be tangible thing. We can see, we can touch. Okay, so the physical infrastructure of Azure starts with data centers. And uh, conceptually, the data centers are the same as large corporate data centers. So uh, in, in very simple word, these data centers will be very big, very large, okay. And uh, they are facilities with resources arranged in rack with uh, dedicated power, cooling and networking infrastructure. So everything is arranged in proper manner, manner and racks, okay. In racks basically. And uh, as a global cloud provider, Azure. Azure has data centers around the world. See, Azure is providing service across the globe. So it has lots of data centers acro across the world. Okay, or around the world. However, these individual data centers are not directly accessible. Yes, these data centers are not directly accessible. For example, if one center is there and one DC is there and you have connected both with a cable. No, it is not possible. Okay, they are not connected with one LAN cable. They are geographically connected with each other, but not directly accessible. Data centers are grouped into Azure regions and uh, Azure availability zones. Okay, so they are grouped into availability, availability zone and region, and uh, that are designed to help you achieve resiliency and reliability uh, for your business critical workloads so both of these options are uh, given by the microsoft or available in azure to provide resiliency okay and reliability uh, for your business or your operations basically okay or workload how we'll see it in detail now let's talk about uh, reason so guys a region a region is a geographical area okay it is a geographical area on the planet that contains at least one but potentially multiple data center that are nearby and networked together with a low latency network so uh, very simple it is a geographical area where we will have at least one data center but there will be multiple data center as well and they will be connected to each other with proper networking okay with low latency on the network azure integer uh, integer intelligently assigns and controls the resources within each region to ensure workloads are properly or appropriately balanced so it will uh, you know divide uh, the workload properly between all the data centers so only once data center should not feel too much workload on it okay apart from this when you deploy a resource in azure you will often need to choose the region where you want your resource to be deployed or resource deployed so yes it is a it is a mandatory kind of thing okay and uh, note some services or virtual machine features are only available in certain regions so like uh, in certain regions uh, there will be certain features available to that particular area only and such a specific 
virtual machine size or uh, storage type and there are also go uh, there are also some global azure services that don't require you to select a particular region such as azure active directory azure traffic manager and azure dns so i hope that it is very clear what is region region is nothing but it is a geographical area where we will have at least one data center or potentially more than one data center or multiple data center okay with low latency and uh, let's see a little more about uh, it now we'll see region pairs okay guys so it is very important see in a, in a, in a exam they may give you like 200 here 200 miles away or 300 miles away or 400 miles away at least kind of things so most azure regions are paired with another region within the same geographic such as uh, such as us europe or asia at least 300 miles away okay and uh, this approach allows for the application or uh, replication of resources across the geographic that helps reduce the likelihood of interruption because of events such as you know natural disaster civil unrest power outage and uh, or physical network outages that affects an entire region so simple thing if you have multiple pairs definitely if, if one pair is down the resource will be accessible from other pair that is the use of uh, i mean big advantage of uh, creating a reason pair okay apart from this for example if a reason in a pair was affected by a natural disaster services would automatically fail over to the other reason in its reason pair so this is the advantage of using a reason pair okay and uh, let's see important not all azure services automatically replicate replicate data or automatically fall back from a failed reason to across uh, to cross replicate to another enabled reason in this scenario or uh, yes in this scenario recovery and replication must be configured by the customer so it is depend on customer also he or she should i mean the user should configure recovery and replication properly because 100% they should not be dependent on a, a cloud provider. Sometime it may be uh, like in some reasons it is not available. Okay. Apart from this guys, example of region pair in Azure are West US paired with East US. Okay. And South East Asia paired with East Asia. So these are the example if we talk about india for example bangalore location is connected with mumbai or hyderabad oh sorry hyderabad i'm talking about calcutta okay i'm just giving you an example because the pair of the region are directly connected and far enough apart to be isolated from uh, regional disaster you can use them to provide reliable services and data redundancy so guys this is the example for example uh, you can see i have taken this diagram you have uh, one reason okay this is azure reason and uh, you have three data center i'm just telling you like example only and it has three data center one and two and this is three similarly this is one reason for example this is mumbai okay this is mumbai and another one you have in calcutta this is calcutta okay so again here you have three availability zone or you can say data center okay for example so now you can pair both of them okay this is pairing so now if this is down your application your resources will be accessible from here so in next video i will be talking about i will talk about availability zone okay why it is showing here availability zone what is the role of availability zone so guys please do subscribe the channel and this is very simple concept of regional or reason pair and definitely there will be a question like we have 300 or 200 miles uh, distance between two data centers so how would you uh, secure it kind of question there will be one question definitely so guys i am done with this question here i mean this uh, video here
and if you feel it is informative and something to give you you know what you have to do you can see on the screen and uh, in next video i'll meet you till then bye bye